The scientist said the bumblebee couldn't fly. She liked the wing beats per minute or the necessary size. But the bumblebee in her ignorance proved him wrong. She knew that she could fly because she flew all along. And now imagine if she listened to the man, she might have stuck, stuck her wings and then dropped, giving up on the spot. But don't ever let someone tell you what you can't do because just because it's proven doesn't mean it's true. <laughs> the bumblebee bumbles. Loving her life, she hums as she flies. <laughs> the bumblebee fumbled. Clumsily stumbled from flower to flower. <laughs> the bumblebee tumbled. Tore through the sky, pulling corkscrews and dives, and then. The bumblebee mumbled. Crumbled in front of the queen and her power. <laughs> The bumblebee grumbled something explicit, discovered she was labeled a gimmick, and then the bumblebee rumbled, desperate to eat that nectar so sweet. The bumblebee humbled her critics, silenced all things scientific. The bumblebee jumbled her speech, she didn't care because in the air she was free, because she was a busy bee. Loved to fly to flowers and visit trees, deliver seeds efficiently, more so than in a breeze, intricate and intimate, meticulous auxiliary, and gather more honey than any sick MCs. Oh, yeah. Ever since she learned to fly, she earned her stripes. Despite the words of hype from learned types, suppressed the urge to fight or turn and hide. Instead, she yearned for sky and birds up high, her confidence was soaring. She saw scientists as boring, the sort of people she should be ignoring because they made no sense. At least no sense as sweet as pollen. Even centimeters from her, they depended on their drawings, and they'd rather follow their charts than follow their hearts. If they saw a bee leaf, they still believe a graph. They preferred facts and figures to bees wax and vigor, but she begged to differ. She flew fast and laughed. Now, I mean, the scientist. His aim in life was to try and dismiss any hypothesis he deemed preposterous. When asked why he never swallowed his pride, he replied that's obvious. It wouldn't fit down my esophagus. Oh! Not quite the optimist, more like the opposite, that's likely to be living in a bubble, then popping it. He had hey, he believes everything I say, fever, polynosis, when close to the anomalous, taking measurements, making experiments, accumulating evidence. His brain contained considerable cleverness compared to his intelligence, so busy with bees in the room, he forgot the elephant. Oh! Proof was foolproof except for the truth. And if the bumblebee had read his report, she'd have agreed she was too heavy, therefore would never be airborne. But ignorance is bliss, and that begins with the bee. So this one is for the bees in the hive living lives of aviation. The ones who survive and help survive through pollination, the ones that thrive in the sticky situations with their flocky nocky knee hitty pity vacation, they are doing what they're doing for the buzz. Not for love or money, moving and maneuvering above. If the weather's sunny, proven to the humans, their conclusions are confusing and unusually refusing to budge. This is for those who are being themselves and who believe in themselves. You see the be in themselves and set it free in themselves. You know that even though it's difficult, life is full of miracles and true happiness never came from being cynical, the bumblebee. Forever looking for something sweet, overcoming tumbleweed by holding on to some belief and summary. This is for those to stay summary, and there will be bees to come, whatever comes to be.